Each of these artboards calls for a design that has a logo contained in exactly the same place in the upper portion of each of the artboards. So we do have that logo and it's in a different Illustrator file. But before we choose to paste that in here, we want to be able to get one of those artboards uh, showing nice and clear in our image window. And it's usually by default that artboard number one is active. So if I go to view and then choose fit artboard in window and just take a glance down here at the artboard switcher menu, yes, it is artboard number one that is now active. So I'm just going to move my layers panel just to the side. I'm then going to go to the file menu and choose open. And then back in the working folder, I need to open up a file called brand guide. So this contains a series of logos. I will just go to the view menu and choose fit all in window. So we're just dealing with one artboard and we need the dark red colored logo uh, that we see here uh, on the left hand side. So I'm going to left click on that with the selection tool. I'm going to go to the edit menu and choose copy. Notice that if I collapse the parent layer in there, it's contained in a layer called titles. So if I then go across to the poster template file with a left click, I am going to turn on the option in here if it isn't for paste remembers layers. Now, if it's active, if you recall from the end of the last chapter, if you see a tick adjacent to the word paste remembers layers, that means it's active. So that's good. I'm going to go to the edit menu and choose paste. And that will usually paste any artwork right into the middle of the image window. And it usually is also the case that if you have told Illustrator to fit an artboard in the middle of the image window, your artwork should now be exactly in the middle of the artboard that you're looking at, which is also helpful. Also notice that it's brought through the layer that it lived in called titles, which is still present in this file because we turned on that feature called paste remembers layers. So it's honored the layer structure from the brand guide file. Now we've got the artwork in there. We can actually go up to the top and we can just click on the X to close that file down called brand guide. We don't need that anymore. It's probably worthwhile saving this document. So let's go to file and then choose save. And it should take us to the working folder. And uh, the name was defined in the new document dialog box called posters template. We definitely need to save this as an Adobe Illustrator file with the .ai extension and then click on save. When you present it with the Illustrator options, just click OK. They're all best practice and they're fine to click away at. 